Carly Johnston here with Ken Cal, and welcome to Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. It's hockey night here at Little Caesars Arena as the Red Wings play host to Western Conference leaders, the Winnipeg Jets. Ken, the Jets have taken off recently. What makes this team so impressive? Well, first and foremost, Carly, let's take a look at the score sheet from the last game. Let's just rip it right up. Forget about that game, but you're right about the Winnipeg Jets. Real explosive up front. They've got guys that can put the puck in the net like Line, Shifley, Wheeler, the list goes on and on. Back on the blue line, really steady. And in goal, Connor Hellebuck, just outstanding. His save percentage is way north, better than a year ago. The Red Wings are in for a challenge tonight. The Red Wings come into tonight's contest with a 10-12-5 record, losing a tough one in Montreal 10-1. It was only 2-0 after the first period, but then Montreal stormed out and put up four in each of the final two periods. Dylan Larkin registered his 100th career NHL point and currently leads the team in scoring with 23 points. The leaders of the team said the game was embarrassing, so Ken, how does the team recover from a game like that? Well, first and foremost, you have to be able to protect the puck, and you got to win battles, especially in the offensive zone. Now, with that said, you're going to take a punch. You're going to get hit, but you've got to be able to protect the puck. You can't throw the puck blindly in the high slot, hoping a player will be there. you got to make sure that when you pass the puck, your teammate is there and get support as well. The Jets enter Detroit with a 17-6-4 record after beating the Ottawa Senators on Sunday night at home 5-0. The Jets are red hot right now. They have a league leading 36 first period goals. Captain Blake Wheeler leads their team in points with 35 and 24 year old Mark Shifley has 34 points and sophomore Patrick Laine is always dangerous with his shot. Michigan native goaltender Connor Hellebuck has been outstanding this season with a 15-2-3 record and a 2.31 goals against average. We talked to some players and coach after morning skate to get their thoughts on tonight's game. Danny, obviously a tough loss against the Montreal Canadiens, but what has the team been working on over the last couple of days? Um, I mean, I think the, the last couple of practices have just, uh, the message has gotten through that we just need to compete harder, get out there and uh, just play hockey. Sometimes you just got to go out there and not think think about the game and just go out there and play. What's the attitude in the locker room now heading into this game against the Winnipeg Jets? Um, I mean, I think it's everybody in here just wants to win a game. So, you know, we just, uh, that's the big focus. No matter how it's going to get done, we want to get two points. Um, pretty ugly, whatever that may be, we just need to get it done. You know, we can't play the way we played last few games. Uh, we weren't good enough. Uh, we weren't battling enough, you know. So, um, you know, uh, obviously it's a big thing, you know, when you get scored against to kind of stay with it and, and play the same way, you know, the, the system and the strategy will take care of you, but you just have to stick with it, you know, no matter what the result is. First of all, they get some, some real high end uh, at each, you know, at each position. The Connor Hollybuck's playing very, very well, who, who I had at the World Championships and, and I think uh, has really improved his game, but, but they got some real high end up front and some real high end on the back end, so uh, that's one. Two, they're, they're really, really uh, uh, pressuring the puck well, um, not really having to play a whole bunch of defense. They, they had the puck almost the whole game, you know, and so um, they've done a real good job of the of pressure and uh, I think in hockey one of the two teams has the other one on their heels and in, in, in the games I watch most of the time uh, Winnipeg had their opponents on their heels we got to put them on their heels otherwise it'll be a, a tough night so we got to make sure we do a great job of putting them on their heels making them defend uh, making them making it hard to skate up up our ice. The keys to tonight's game plain and simple you have to play with passion got to have confidence also trust your teammates out there know that if you're going to take a hit and battle along the boards you're going to get help from your teammates and finally you just have to play with a higher intensity level than the opponent if the Red Wings do that they should come away with a victory we hope so thanks for the report Ken you can catch all of tonight's action on 97 won the ticket with Ken Cal and Paul Woods or on Fox Sports Detroit with Ken Daniels and Mickey Rodman coverage begins at 7 p.m. and puck drop is at 7 30 Download the District Detroit mobile app and click on Upgrade Experience to unlock access to unique experiences and seat upgrades at Little Caesars Arena. For exclusive content, make sure to follow all of Detroit Red Wings social media channels. Thanks for watching this episode of Comerica Bank Game Day Preview. For Ken Cal, I'm Carly Johnston.